this video, I'm going to be showing you where to use grease on your Kriegoff K80 or K20. Hi, I'm Dave here at Kriegoff UK. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the key areas to put grease on your Kriegoff K80 or K20. Now, we do cover this briefly in another video, but if you're looking for this specific information, here it is. So let's start by taking the gun apart. We would always say to wipe away the old grease before applying new grease. This is because the old grease may have grit or dirt in it. And after a while, it mixes together and forms a sort of gritty textured paste, which is not ideal. And it's actually acting like a grinding paste if left too long. So just make sure you wipe the area clean with some paper towels. So firstly, we're gonna start with the barrels. So we'll be applying grease to both sides of the monoblock. The hinge pin cutouts on each side. The top corner edges of the barrel wings. And not forgetting the forearm lug face. But before we apply new grease, we're gonna to have to wipe away the old stuff which is equally important. We're gonna clean away the old grease. Sides of the monoblock and hinge pin cutouts, make sure you do both sides. The barrel face and the barrel wings, and finally, the forearm lug. Okay, so all clean, we can now apply our new grease. Using a good amount here on the side of the monoblock, spread it out evenly over the surface. Then add some into the hinge pin cutout. Again, spread it so it covers the surface of the internal edge. Repeat the process on the reverse side, spreading it evenly as before. The top edge of the barrel wings as these contact the top latch every time the gun opens. Then just use the excess to lightly coat the ejector faces on both sides. Finally, we put a small bit on the forearm lug face and spread this evenly across the surface. Okay, so that's the barrels done. We're gonna move on to the forearm iron. The main area on the forearm is the forearm roll which is this surface here. This is in contact with the action every time you open the gun. So it's always a good idea to keep this lubricated. So we wipe away the existing grease, then apply our fresh grease to these key areas. You can also add a thin layer to these faces here, just with the excess on your finger. Okay, so that's the forearm iron done. Now. The action doesn't actually need any grease, but it's always a good idea to get inside there and wipe away any grease that's transferred over from the barrels on the forearm iron. Wipe over the areas which are in contact with the barrels and don't forget the breech face. Go over the trigger and the trigger guard as oils and dirt from your hands can transfer onto this area as well. Okay, so now we're all set, the gun's greased and we can put the gun back together again. Remember, do not leave your gun too long before applying fresh grease. It should really be done every time you take the gun out. Wear on parts is something that you can maintain and prevent. Now your gun's back together again, it's time to get out there and go shooting. I hope this video has been useful to you and if it has, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.